Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. You can share and drop your comments as you go along. It's um, the final hours, or we're in the final hours of the transfer window. Quite a number of players are looking to switch on. I'll be telling you stories about Kamal Dean Suleimana, who currently plays for Ren, and where he's likely to end. I'll also tell you about well, Abagna, who made his way out of the Black Galaxy's camp because he had to dive into Sudan to sort things out. But generally, we're very, very happy to have you here. And uh, as we promised, we'll be coming away with all the updates and everything. It's important for you to subscribe and you turn on your notifications because whilst you do that, you give us an opportunity and you get the opportunity to also um, watch all the videos that come through on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to drop a comment and don't forget to share as well as turn on your notification buttons. And so here we go. Let's talk about Kamal Dean Suleimana. He's still been courted by a number of English clubs. He's clearly not happy at Ren. That is a fact. And he wants to make a move. Ren have indicated that they would love a permanent move. Or if it's going to be a loan move, then it probably has got to do with a lot of great cash. Or else they're not going to be doing any, any, any much of that. So with the last or the final hours of the transfer window, we know now that Everton are sure to be active in, in these final minutes and final hours. They are buoyed by the £40 million they received from Newcastle from Anthony Gordon. Now they're attempting to reinvest some of the money straight away and buy a direct replacement in Ren's uh, winger, Kamal Dean Suleimana. Now it's important to note this because I've said before, the Ren are not interested, Ren are not interested in um, a loan deal. They are interested in a permanent replacement, clearly. So they have rejected all the loan deals that have come their way. They've rejected all the cash, you know, appeals and I'm looking forward to it. Maybe Everton feel like they've got a chance here because we know Everton made a verbal offer on Sunday and we're waiting for a response from Ren who wants a fee in the region of 30 million euros to get the deal done. That's not only what Kamal Dean Suleimana is involved in at the moment. We know Southampton are also trying to bring in the forward before the window shuts. They have already had a 20 million euro bid rejected but remain keen to recruit the 20 year old a Ghana international and we know that Bournemouth who managed to grab um, fellow Ghanaian or fellow teammate in the national team in the Black Stars um, Antoine Semenyok they also showed interest and we'll see where it goes the truth now though is that um, Kamadi Suleimana is under contract until 2026 but wants to leave now owing to a lack of playing time and we know that Everton are amongst the clubs keen to sign Anthony Lang and alone from Manchester United with a 20 year old looking for more minutes. So that's that's a crit critical bit about Kamal Dean Suleimana. So over the next few hours, we would know where it all settles, but clearly the lines have been drawn there by Ren. Let's tell you about what's happening in the Black Galaxy camp. They're out of the competition, looking to get back to Ghana, of course, it's been interesting. But um, one of the players who's done so well, who did very well in the competition, and, and I cited him a number of times on my social media accounts, you know, David Abagna Sandan has been absolutely great. I remember having an interview with him um, when he got injured, right after, after he came back from the Black Stars camp, failed to, to make it into the Black Stars court. Um, but of course, recovered and came back and helped RTU play so, so, so well. And it's good to see him flourishing at a Black Galaxy's level. But here we go. We know that the Sudan champions, Ahilal Omden, uh, Omdeman have completed the signing of the Ghana midfielder David Abagna Sandan in a permanent deal from Real Tamale United. And the 24 year old attacking midfielder will sign a three year contract that should be done about now uh, with a crescent as he joins from the Ghana Premier League side and an undisclosed amount. Always a problem with a transfer, isn't it? Abagna was instrumental for Ghana's home based national team at the Chan 2022 tournament with the Black Galaxies exiting at the quarter final stage. The midfielder has left Ghana's camp base, we know in Algeria for Sudan where he's expected to complete the final details of his transfer and undergo his medical examination you know uh, today or tomorrow now the RTU captain was named man of the match in the second group match against Sudan he absolutely impressed there when Ghana won by three goals to one and of course at the end uh, Chahid Hamouli Stadium in Konstantin Abagna was named Ghana's or naming Ghana's final squad for the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations campaign following his impressive performances in the 2021-2022 um, Ghana Premier League season 
but obviously had a few issues there. Remember that he's both scored, he's got nine goals and provided three assists and 16 appearances for RTU, who just returned to the Ghanaian top flight. We also know that the Bagna has been impressive in the Ghana League since the beginning of the 2022-2023 campaign with three goals in eight matches. Two seasons ago, he was in a shanty gold and was the best player in the Ghanaian Premiership, where he found the back of the net nine times with 30 appearances. Now, he also won the Ghana Premier League title with Wild All Stars in 2016. He's been linked with moves to Ghanaian Giants as Sante Kotokona Kora Hearts have in the past two seasons and even this season as well, but they could not meet his accident prize. And he will become the second Ghanaian in the Al Hilal squad after former defender Imoro Ibrahim signed for the club uh, in September, obviously, from Kumasi Sante Kotoko. So that's about it, you know. Just what we've been talking about. Great performances, great players, and obviously moving out there. So that's the story right now of Kamaldi Soleimana, who should be settling with the club very soon, and uh, David Abagna Sandan, who has made his move from Real Tamale United to, yes, Ahilal Omdama in Sudan. That's it. Remember to subscribe to our channel as always. Hit the subscribe button, it's important. Turn on your notifications, share, and drop your comments.